dang. What's up, guys? Hold on. It's been a while. Can you guys hear me okay? It's been over a month since I've done a live feed. Melissa's not here yet. Melissa is running a little late. She actually... Ethan, my youngest, had a, a, a orchestra concert, so she went to that. Uh, I we it totally I totally forgot about it whenever I scheduled this. So, what is up, guys? Tell us where you're from. Tell us, like Melissa's here. <laughs> tell, tell me where you're from, and uh, what you guys have been driving. What kind of cars y'all been driving? What are y'all uh, What are y'all interested in right now? There's a lot. Mel will be here. She she's just running a little late. You'll actually probably hear her walk in. But dang it. Hold on a second. I need to turn the AC on because it is hot up here. So what's going on? We got a lot. We got a lot to talk about tonight. A lot to talk about. Uh, we have a great show tonight. Okay. What is up, Larry from Kansas? We got Ricky from Pennsylvania. Uh, lots of people from all over. Man, this is freaking awesome. Already a hundred people on. Melissa, why why is Melissa on the chat? Hello from Winnipeg. Nice. David E says, well, these are going by fast. He says that uh, Long Beach, California, Baja Ray 1.0. Actually, I did. You can't see it, but I did the Baja Ray that, uh, the Baja Ray 2.0. That really, really cool Ford F100 truck. Man, that thing's freaking sweet. The Eisenhower Brothers Baja Ray. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Brooklyn Park, Minnesota. <laughs> so, someone is talking to me. And it says JQ. It's probably not the JQ, but he's from London, UK. He says, uh, Kumusta Mark, which is hello in Tagalog, um, Filipino. So we got Baltimore in the house. Idaho. I was just in Idaho. Uh, we'll talk about that. Arizona, man, it's <laughs> it's. I was gonna say it's getting it's hot here, but it actually just cooled down. We just got a cold front, so it's not so bad anymore. Uh, 110 people. Art, thank you. Says 110 people. Only 30 likes. You know what else you guys need to do if you haven't done so already? Please, please subscribe. For some reason, my watchers aren't subscribing anymore. I don't. I don't know what it is. Maybe. I'm not mentioning it enough, but if you aren't subscribed yet, please subscribe. I'm not releasing as much video, so I promise you won't get blown up by notifications. Maybe on days that I go live, like I, I posted a couple things uh, to let you guys know I'm going live, but I, I don't do a lot of shorts, which I probably should, um, but subscribe. I got a whole bunch of cool stuff going on. Eric from New York. Nice. I'll be in New York next next month, uh, not for anything RC related, uh, personal personal thing, just for, for fun. Uh, going on a guy's trip to New York, so I'll be in New York. We got someone from Maine, Spokane. I was just in Spokane. Eric Linneval, what's going on, buddy? Kansas City, man. I don't know how the Chiefs lost their first game. I'm sorry. I, I, I honestly thought they were just going to wipe them clean the first game. But awesome to hear where everybody's from. Thanks for joining, guys. We got a lot of stuff to talk about tonight. We also have a lot of stuff to give away tonight. Uh, I will be giving away... A few things to you guys, including a car, a really cool car, uh, one that I actually thought about keeping, but I'm going to go and give it away to you guys anyways, because I have too many of them. Um, also giving away our Patreon appreciation uh, drawing, so we'll do that. Actually, yeah, I got to, hopefully Melissa gets here in time, because I got to build that that wheel. And then RC Box Club, again, sponsoring this live feed, obviously, I'm part of RC Box Club. Uh, but we're giving away a couple of really cool mystery boxes tonight. I'm going to show you what one of them is because literally they're not like boxes that we've released before or that you get monthly. I go into RC Box Club and I just start pulling stuff off the wall and building a box. So I built a couple of really good ones. So yeah, guys, make sure you uh, stay tuned for that. We'll do those kind of sprinkled in. Ronaford, what's up, buddy? So I met Ronaford's been a supporter for a very, very long time, uh, almost since the beginning. He might actually be one of the first Patreons. He's definitely probably one of the first 10 Patreons I've ever had. Um, but he's been a supporter for a long time. I've never actually met him until this past month when I was in Seattle. And I met Elta Dude and got to meet him. It was freaking awesome. It's like, it's it's funny because when he was talking to me, he was like, 
this is kind of crazy that I'm meeting you for the first time. He said he was he was kind of nervous or whatever. But honestly, I was nervous. It's like meeting a, a, a friend or a supporter for so long. And like I, I was nervous. It was really, really weird. But it was cool meeting some people uh, out on the West Coast, meeting Roddenford. I ran into someone. So if you don't know, I went to Seattle. Um, me and Melissa stayed in Seattle for about four days before going to Hayden, Idaho to check out HRCR and check out the race up there. But we spent a lot of time in Seattle. If you have never been to Seattle, they have this really big public market. It's like a it's a it's just a public market. They sell like produce, seafood, <coughs> arts and craft stuff, things like that out there. It's super packed, like mega packed all the time. And I'm walking through and someone had recognized me from the channel in Seattle at the market. I was completely blown away. That was freaking awesome. If you're watching, man, what's up? I have a pic. I have I actually have, I take notes every time I meet somebody. I have his name and a, we took a picture, but it was really cool to meet someone like that. But yes, um, I, oh, there it is. Honest Renick, thanks for the super chat. Are you ready for Shaw's Truck Nats? So yes, Truck Nats is coming up. I believe it's next month. Um, I am good. I do plan on going to Truck Nats. I was trying to sponsor Truck Nats and there's a little bit of miscommunication between the, uh, the person doing the promotion stuff and um, MSM, but we will be there. I do plan on running a whole bunch of classes, and it should be a lot of fun. It's going to be a really, really cool cool race. Uh, if you don't know what the Truck Nats is, basically it's a race that Shaw's in Ardmore, Oklahoma, put together a, a while back, and it kind of grew. It grew in popularity, and this year they're doing it huge. They have Joey coming out to build a track. I believe they have... Um, why did his oh uh, Lance Lance McDonald? Uh, he's the announcer for race time. He's gonna I, th I think he's gonna be out to out there to do the announcing there. Uh, but there's a lot of people coming out. It's gonna be a lot of fun. If you're in the area, Ardmore, Oklahoma, that's like kind of like right at the border of Texas and Oklahoma. Go check out that race during that time. I don't have the dates in front of me, but yeah, I am ready. Uh, John, I'm, I'm hoping to see you up there. Obviously, I'll see you up there. I want to bring my crawler, my my oval car. I know they got a new oval up there. It's been a while since I've been up there. And it's just because I just haven't had the time. I really love that place. Uh, Robert Shaw, the guy that owns it, he does it for the right reasons. He does it because he loves the hobby, and it's it's just a great a great place. Thanks for the super chat, by the way. I appreciate it. Um, okay, I got to get a couple things out of the way first before we go on because the spammers are out, guys. Uh, right before I went live, I noticed that they're already trying to trick people into saying that they won something. Uh, those are straight up scams, uh, con artists. Basically, what they do is they'll comment on your comment in in the video, and they'll say that you won something. And what they'll do is they'll they'll say, "Okay, yeah, you won this car." And they're they're basically acting like they're me. They take my they take my profile picture and everything, and they basically make an impersonation profile, and they say you win something, and then they ask you for money to ship it. Just so you guys know, anytime I give something away, I will never ever ever ask you for money ever i automatically in my head uh whenever we give stuff away we already factor in the cost for shipping that's why we don't ship international because shipping international is insane um but i never ask for money so please do not send well, who, what looks like me as money don't, don't ever send me money unless you're buying off of the msm blog merch site or the rc box club merch site it doesn't work that way i'll never ask you to send me money through a telegram or anything please do not do not fall for these scams. I feel awful. Even though I have nothing to do with them, I feel awful because these are guys that are supporting me that, that want to support the channel and, and like what I do, and they're they're getting their money taken from them, and it really sucks. So be really, really, really careful with that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Ooh, I've been talking a lot. Rizzo, what's up, buddy? Are you ready to beat the Jets? <laughs> I like The Cowboys, they won their last game, and they won really, really – Really, 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 really well. They, they skunked them forty to zero, um, but I think it was a, uh, I think it was a fluke. Yes, I said it. I think it was a fluke. That's pretty messed up. I know. I saw a comment in here I wanted to address. Um, someone asked how to enter the giveaway. You'll find out how to enter the giveaway as the show goes on. And yes, we got a whole bunch of giveaways. Uh, dang it, I can't find that thing. All right, so. Yes, yeah, spammers are out. Be careful. Don't fall for that. Um, One of the big races, I have my notes up here, that's why I keep looking. 
over here. One of the big races right now that's going on is Southern Classic. Um, people are getting mix, mixed up between the Southern Nationals and the Southern Classic. I go to the Southern Nationals pretty much every year. I've never missed it. They are not doing the Southern Nationals this year, uh, but there is a race called Southern Classic in West Monroe, Louisiana, the exact same location as Southern Nats. If you're going out to the race and you're expecting to see me out there, I am not at that race. I decided not to go um, to the Southern Classic. I go to a lot of those big uh, East Coast races or races out to the East uh, because I like to support Dave and Race Time Entertainment. And they're not putting that race on. And I, I just I didn't put it as a priority. It, I, basically, I set my schedule pretty early and I didn't get to make it out. I wish I could because the track looks amazing. Go check it out. Um, you can check it out on Facebook. Go look up Southern Classic RC Race, and they just post a picture of the track. Looks absolutely amazing. Uh, the old guy, the, uh, he's not old, but the guy who used to build the track, uh, Pil Ross. Ross, his name is Ross Pilgrim, 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 or something like that. Um, he was the one who built the track before, and he's the builder now again, and it looks absolutely amazing. Um, Joker says he likes my videos. Thank you, sir. Um, Amin asked, where, where is the next swap meet vid? Uh, so that's kind of two questions in one. Where is the next swap meet? The next swap meet is in Leander, Texas, which is a perfect transition into what I'm doing this weekend. I'm going to be at in Leander, Texas, which is just north of Austin. You can basically call it Austin, Texas at a hobby shop called the hobby shop. They have a swap meet on Sunday. I will be at the swap meet, but I'm also going to be there Saturday, just hanging out doing some drifting, doing some crawling. Pretty stoked about that. I'm just going to relax, spend some time in Austin. Me and Ethan are going out there, and I'm really looking forward to that. So with all that said, needless to say, there is going to be Swap Meet videos following that. So make sure you like, subscribe. Uh, I know you guys like Swap Meet videos. I think this Swap Meet is going to be massive. Uh, just based on kind of the feedback and what I've seen being posted on Facebook, I think it's going to be massive. So I should get a whole bunch of content there. Uh, let's see. Okay, so lots of people are probably joining because they want to know about the new Traxxas brushless RC cars. So I'll talk about that now because before Melissa gets here because she doesn't really care about that conversation. But yes, Traxxas has released their new brushless system. I did a few videos on it already. I got to address something right off the bat. The very first video I did, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, they were released. The stamp they released a Stampede 4x4. I've not done that review yet. I will do that review soon. They released a Slash 4x4 and a Rustler 4x4 with a brand new brushless BL2S system. It's a basically a 3300 mil, uh, not a million, 3300 KV brushless system that now comes in their budget cars. So why it's so amazing is, and it really is amazing. I know you guys are maybe not you guys on, but a lot of people think that I'm just a Traxxas fanboy and they pay me to say they don't pay me to say any of this stuff. But why it's so amazing is I think the price difference is something like 30 or 40 bucks. And you're getting not only a brushless RC car now, but you're also getting the extreme heavy duty kit. Like the new cars are completely ramped up. Um, they're awesome. Um, it's like basically I actually look at it and I'm like, holy crap, did they did they really did they really do that? Because it, it is so good, like you probably won't need to do anything. Like you, you can literally just buy that car and probably drive it and you likely won't break it. Like it's that good. And it's probably not going to wear because you have a brushless system in it. I, I think the only, and I even said it in the videos, the only weak part I feel like are the shocks, which aren't really a problem. They're just a little bit weaker. They're not, they don't really complement all the other really heavy duty stuff on there. They're still good shocks. I do like the ultra shocks. And then it doesn't come with a metal gear servo. But other than that, they're awesome. So full disclaimer on whenever I did those videos is whenever I did the first video, my first thought when a new brushless system comes out is how it performs. So that's why whenever I did my first video, I literally kept the car as the control and I tested the 12-turn brushless system against the BL2S um, new brushless system. I keep saying the 12, it's 12, the 12 turn brushless system. It's not brushless. It's the 12 turn brushed XL5 tracks system against the new 2S brushless system. But I wanted to test them against each other because I want to see how it performed, right? Um, whenever they, whenever they released the cars, they said the new brushless 
slash four by four, do brushless Russell four by four is 60% faster. That is true if you compare it to the brush version. Now, the brush version has a different rollout, has different gears, different a whole bunch of different stuff. So if you go buy a brushed 4x4, like a, a brush Rustler 4x4, and compare it to uh, the new brushless Rustler 4x4, I saw that you get about 50% performance in increase, which is insane. But the reason why I'm saying that is if you go buy the brushless system and you put it in your car, it's not going to feel any faster. It, it feels almost the same. Um, now, with that said, even though it feels almost the same, it is going to be a lot more robust. It's not; It doesn't get hot at all. My guy, you can gear it to the moon, um, and you're not going to be wearing your motor down, things like that. But they're, they're, it's, an, it's an awesome system. So the big thing for me, I am a racer, is I was hearing a lot of stuff about, oh, this is going to ruin the spec class. I, I think it's the complete opposite. I think it's going to make the spec class even better, all the spec racing classes, because you can run this system and you're not going to have a significant advantage over the brush, the, the brush 12 turn motors. I'll even go as far as saying, and I think I said it in my video that if you find one of those really hot brush 12 turn motors, it might even be faster than the brushless system. Um, now you're going to wear it down. It's, it's going to have a shorter lifespan, but it's like, it's seriously, it's so comparable. It, it doesn't really matter. It's still all about setup. So, for you guys who are worried that the brushless system is just going to take over and now you got to get rid of your 12 turn or now that you're racing spec, you're going to be outmatched. That is 100% not true. I actually went and switched out my cars that night whenever I was testing them. I started with the brush system and went back to the brush because I like I, it felt better to me. I felt more comfortable with it. I felt more used to it. I've been running the Titan 12 turn brush systems forever. So, yeah. Uh Got a question here about the battery life comparison. I didn't do a battery life comparison because I don't think battery life is a, at least from what I experienced, battery life isn't really a problem, if that makes sense. Because that if you, I run the 7,600 batteries, that battery will last 30 minutes, like at least. Uh, I mean, it will last 30 minutes in the brush system just as well as it will last in the brush system. It, it just lasts so long. Like I rarely have run a battery all the way down. So I didn't do that test, and that would have been a long, that would have been a long video. But maybe I should. Maybe I should. I did, and it's hard. The other thing it's hard to do is it's hard to compare them, especially when they have a completely different rollout. That when I say the rollout, like the gearing, um, the drivetrain is completely different. You can't test it because you don't. The load's not the same. Now I could put in a, a different, the same car. I could do that, but yeah, I just I didn't test the the uh, the runtime. But I'm confident that. The runtime is going to be incredibly long. I mean, if, if I had to guess 30 minutes, if you take that car out of the box and you put a 7,600 battery in there, it's probably going to be uh, 30 minutes of runtime. So, Woo, so what other questions do you guys have before Melissa comes on? Because I hear, I hear her here. She hasn't uh, joined yet. But what other questions do you guys have in regards to the Traxxas, the new Traxxas brushless system? The car's awesome because it comes with that new heavy-duty kit. Uh, it's sweet. Oh, there she is. Do you have my laptop stand? I do not have your laptop stand. Um, but yeah, so what other question do you guys have for the uh in regards to the Traxxas new Traxxas brush system? Someone said stampede. Yeah, I don't have the stampede yet. I don't think this I don't even think the stores have stampedes yet. Uh, whenever I get the stampede, I will definitely do a, a review on it. So I have been driving that brush system for quite a t quite some time now. I, I had a lot of time to kind of test it and get a really good feel for it. I have not overheated it yet. I put it in my race vehicles. I put it in <laughs> all different types of cars. Um, it's awesome. I got to say something, though. I still prefer the VXL. It's, fa it's faster. It's a 3500 versus a 3300 KV motor. And I like to know that I can run 3S if I want to. I want to go super fast. So I'm still a fan of the VXL. If you want a brushless car, uh, 3S is fun. Uh, will they also be adding the BL2S to the rally? I, I'm, honestly, I'm not sure. I'm not sure about that. Uh, Brett is talking crap. He said, what number you are you on the MSM RTR list? Uh, we will be talking about that, and I am number four at the moment. Brett is ahead of me. 
So are they going to do a brush? Are they going to do brushes in the bandit also? Uh, again, I'm not, I, I don't know about that one either. My guess, my hunch is they wouldn't, um, but I don't know. I, I don't, I also don't think a lot of people are saying that it's going to completely replace the Titan 12 turn. If I don't think so. And if they did, I don't, I don't know. I don't know why they would do that. I think that there's a reason. There's a reason for that 12 turn system. And the reason is twice spice, twice pipes, twice pipes. Is your can Can y'all hear Melissa? I think y'all can hear Melissa. Uh, the reason why I think the, uh, the, uh, the brush system is still needed is because it has a very, very nice throttle curve. It's very linear and, yeah, you'll have a lot better low speed feel on a car. Like whenever you're going in the corners, I, if you guys are are familiar with RC cars and brushless systems, non non censored systems have a tendency to cog. Um, this new system is a non censored system. So you want me to add you now? Um, I don't Hold even on. know. I got. I'm gonna add Melissa. I, I can't even see I, myself. Are you already logged in? I'm not yeah. logged in yet. Hold on, I'm, I'm adding Melissa. Let me see extra. Oh, that's not good. Great, here we go. I gotta shut down. Uh oh, you have to angle your your uh, because uh, what is it on? They can see a whole bunch of not so organized stuff. No, you, you're good. Just turn it to the your left a little bit. All right. Um. So yeah, let's see. Do you know if Trax is dumping the Bigfoot line? To the new brushless system. I don't know about that. I hope they put the new brush system in the Bigfoot. I think that would be cool. Box Club CEO. <laughs> Honestly, I do not like I don't get much. I mean, I guess if I really wanted to, there's there's a few employees with RC Box Club. I guess if I really wanted to, I could try to I could pull rank, but that's not how those conversations go when we go <laughs> meetings. Usually I'm being told what to do, I'm giving feedback, and I'm really the guy that picks out all the stuff. Because all the stuff in RC Box Club is ser seriously, I have a story tied to everything, and I, I put in a a sheet that tells you why I picked out all the stuff. I love it's so much fun to me. Which speaking of, we're giving some RC Box Club stuff away. Um, but yes, if you don't know what it is, it's a monthly subscription box. And right now, like, <clears throat> I mean, I'm just gonna say it. Whenever I first got into RC Box Club, I wanted to basically release just banger box after banger box. And uh, actually, hold on. Oh, I'm going to add you to this. Oh, we added Melissa to the stage. There she is. But yes, we really, we, we, they were like, be careful when you release really, really good like boxes, like high value boxes, because everyone's going to get used to getting these high value boxes. And I was like, I don't care. I want to release a high value box. And we released one, we released two. And every box has been, you're getting better more, and better. Yeah, you're getting yeah. more than double your value when you get the box. And it really, um, we're not, it's not good for us, but God, it's so much fun and it's so awesome. No, it's great for us. I think it's it's good. Each box, like seriously, is packed with with so much like I would say love, but like it, with care. It's it's really cool. Go check mm -hmm. it out. Um, actually, I don't even actually I do. I did I did put a link in the description, so there's a link in the description. Um, Travis said he didn't get a sheet in the last box. What? Uh, he probably meant uh. The one that you didn't write a story for? Oh, maybe that's what it was. Mm -hmm. uh, CL Off-Road, that's my boy. Um, Chase says, are you going to Southern Classic? I just addressed that. I am not going to Southern Classic. Sorry, man. Uh, it looks The track looks amazing. Uh, You'll be in Austin. I'm going to be in Austin. Yeah. I, I if Also, if I had to pick between a Southern Classic and a Swap Meet, I, I love Swap Swap Meets. are so much fun. The mm -hmm. problem with Swap Meets is like I buy stuff. I, I literally, we went through the storage unit the other day and there's stuff that I bought from Swap Meet that I haven't touched. Mm -hmm. I, I just buy stuff to buy stuff. It's pretty bad. Um, oh, excuse me. So Melissa, what's going on? Hey. Oh, it is not kombucha. It is... Uh, oh, excuse me. That was wine. gross. It is an adult beverage, but... Um, yeah. Oh, this, is not, this is not a paid product placement. <laughs> but... Yeah, so I'm just whew, catching up. You tell me already, what's going on. Have, what the heck? It's already 25 minutes. I haven't even okay. I gotta get some stuff out of the way real quick. Yeah, because we gotta start doing some drawings. We gotta start doing some. Because unfortunately, stuff. I have a hard stop because 
Um, I got a hard stop too. I would like to I stop. I am by up now. at four forty-five a.m. So I sympathize for those people who have to wake up early to go to work or who are up late, and it's it's a tough schedule. I'm, but yeah, yeah, I uh, I want to. I have people in my fantasy team, fantasy football team. I have people playing on both sides of the game tonight. The Minnesota and Philadelphia, Philadelphia game. So you're I losing li- me. I would like to watch the last part of that game. So I have a hard stop tonight too. No, if it goes further, it goes further. But I got to do some shout outs real quick. First off, I got to give a shout out to Billy Crow and the East Coast MSM team. Um, man, it's awesome. Mm-hmm. They send me pictures and there's there. It's exactly what I wanted. They're like it's almost like building a family that's representing yeah, MSM it's an out there. Family. It's it's freaking sweet. So Billy. Big shout out. Thank you for everything you do for the MSM East Coast. If you ever go to a big race on the East Coast and Billy is there, our tent is your tent. Go hang out with them. Um, go say hi. If you're going to race it, you can pit with them. Just get with Billy. Uh, Donnie and and Stuart, they're also part of the team. Donnie did an interview. It was so funny. Oh, I loved Don- it. That was so- <laughs> is he on? Is Stuart on? I don't know. I don't know if Stuart's on. Um, but yes. He, that did was a, so he did an interview and it's cool because we saw we we've literally watched Donnie grow. Like he was mm-hmm. he was just like a little a little kid just running around. He's there. Yeah. Oh, there, he is. there he is. And uh now he's he's doing interviews and he's just it was he's, so cool. He's so yeah. So in his interview, they're like asking him questions and he just grabs the mic and they're like, Oh, okay. And <laughs> I loved completely... it. Yeah. That was awesome. <laughs> and they were talking about he got second in, I think, e buggy. And they were talking about, so what do you, what's next for you? And he goes, first, like, <laughs> I want to get first. But what they were wanting them to say was Nitro was the next for him, but he didn't, he didn't say that. But anyways, big shout out to Billy and the East Coast guys. I, I dropped the ball on creating, like making posts and posting all this stuff and pictures they sent me uh, on the MSM Facebook page. Uh, sorry about that. But man, I, I don't, I can't say how much I appreciate they're what they're doing out there. And if you're racing on the East Coast, definitely reach out to those guys. Those guys are awesome. Yeah. Um what race was that oh, that nice. we we didn't get to go to? What was what race was that? The um the the uh, RC Pro Am, the oh, one that right, we, we right. were in Seattle. Oh, that's right, yeah. Which I haven't even, I haven't even started talking about that. We're already 25 minutes in. Okay. I also got to give a shout out to the MSM South guys, Chase and Mikey B. They were out at Badlands in Odessa, Texas, completely killed it. Uh and <laughs> like if you met Mikey B, you would understand, but I think he said he got <laughs> so funny. He got he only got he raced four classes and he got two first places and two seconds, and he got like three TQs. And he's like, Yeah, it was a slow weekend for me. I, I should have won them all, but you know, I was, <laughs> I was trying to take it easy and have a good anyways. He's he's not he's he acts humble, but he's not, but he's just hilarious. <laughs> but Chase also ended up taking the dub out there. I think an intermediate nitro truggy. Uh, big shout out to those guys, man. It's great that they're out there representing MSM. Yeah. Um, having fun. They're having fun out there. Uh, but because they're having fun, they're winning. So big shout out to those guys. Also got to give a shout out to Robert Netzel. I see your podium picks all the time. He is constantly wearing MSM stuff on the podium. I see that he's getting, he's starting to race a lot more. I got to give a shout out to him. I don't know what location he's in, but I don't know. We need to get a team at, in that area. Yeah. Uh, big shout out to him. Yeah, and somebody said MSM needs a Midwest chapter, but I think that's kind of that's Jason Weddle, right? Like that's is oh I, Iowa. I, yeah, Iowa. That's Midwest, right? I would say so we do cent- central north or north. Yeah. So Tyrone, what's up, buddy? Um, and then I gotta give a shout out to Doug. Uh Doug does the Tamiya Tuesdays. Uh he he loves Tamiya's. His Tamiya collection is amazing. I always say that I'm gonna go do a uh tour, a tour of uh-huh. his place and all his Tamiya's and I He's got it pretty organized we, too. Yeah, we haven't done yeah. it, but I love that he just he keeps it going. Um, and I appreciate all his builds. His builds are awesome. If you haven't done so already, go check out our MSM drivers meeting page. He posts every Tuesday, and he's got other people posting to me on Tuesdays, but they'll share yeah. their awesome builds. It's cool. And I, love uh, it. I just love how Doug keeps that going, uh, no matter what. I mean, he just really enjoys it. So, Doug, thank you for for doing that. Um, he's actually a really good friend of mine. I've raced with him for a long time, even before. Mm-hmm before I started the YouTube channel. So, um, but I got to touch up on shirts because I said, Robert Nitzel is always taking podium picks mm-hmm. with his, his MSM shirt on. If you don't have a shirt, you might want to pick one up. Cause I'm going to start running a few contests where I, I want to like, basically to enter the contest, you have to post a picture of you wearing an MSM shirt in public. So make sure you go pick those up because we're going to be, I, I got a lot of stuff I need to clear out. 
and the same so. with RC Box Club. We're going to do the same thing with RC Box Club. So yeah, yeah, yeah. same thing. Uh, that's right. Same thing with RC Box mm -hmm. Club. But you have to. You uh -huh. can't go buy that. You can't go buy that shirt. You just have to be. You just have to have it. You have to be part of the swag box and get the shirt. Look at that. You know what Tyrone wants? Give it to the man. Oh, <laughs> there, I, I got to catch up on shimmy. So I, Tyrone's such you. a cool guy. It's cool that like that's part of the reasons why I love going to the races is getting to see some of these people that I know Mark's talked about for years. Um, so yeah, it's been good to really see thing, Tyrone. I didn't get it's the, Silver State, right? Is Silver State. Yeah. I didn't get to play him in Dominoes. Bones. Sorry. Bones. It's just such a it's such it's a busy week. A busy like weekend. I mean. And I think most of them do nitro too, right? But I, what I love about Tyrone is he's he's although he's a racer and you can tell he takes a lot of pride in his racing, you can also tell that he's a true enthusiast. Like mm -hmm. he just really like he enjoys his RC box club, like opening it up, and he, <laughs> he always messages me how it was awesome. Um, but he's a true RC enthusiast, and uh, I think that's that's sweet. Yeah, um, it's cool that you can you can be that way and and be proud of yeah, being be RC a racer and yeah. still like yeah. Uh, Billy Crow, hey Mark Mel, racing in Georgia, just finished the driver's clinic. Oh, nice, man! I kind of want to do a driver's clinic. Yeah. <laughs> that, I wanted to do the the uh, um, Tyler Wiggins, Tyler, Tyler Wiggins. There's a Tyler Wiggins. Jared Wiggins is doing one in my area. I kind of wanted to do one just to to hear their their thought process on how they break things down. But yeah, that that must have been a really cool driver's clinic. There, Billy. <sighs> like I, the, I thought the, Billy the, doesn't those like are, them. Those are slow. Uh, He's David, gonna that shimmy. David's going to be excited about the uh, giveaway tonight. You're going to make sure you don't want to miss that. So, shimmy, all right, David, David is shimmy because do what? Damn, make the two, why two shimmy? Is that did you do that? No, that's the Charlie trying to get in. All right, so I got a couple of other things. Yeah, so we just got back from the West Coast side. Uh, HRCR, absolutely amazing facility, beautiful. Beautiful scenery, but I, I will say that I wish I would have raced that race, but it was really, really like a lot of people are commenting like, oh man, I can't believe you go out that far and you don't even race. Man, I just had such a great time just going around. Like me and Melissa did so much mm -hmm. and it was just, it was just a good time. And for me, like I've been to so many big races and I don't want to say I'm getting burnt out of big races. Um, I'm actually going to go on that topic here in a second, but I've been to so many big races. Whenever I go to areas that I'm not in very often. Like I can race anytime, anywhere, right? I, I can I rather kind of enjoy the area that I'm in. So I like that trip was awesome. We had so much fun. Mm -hmm. The only thing I didn't like about the trip is that's a little too long on a uh, plane. I don't like the three hours. Yeah, planes. no, it's not even three hours, it's almost four hours. <laughs> yeah, I didn't like that. That's, yeah. that's just a, a smidge. I'm a big guy. That's my threshold, like three, four hours. That's when I start getting antsy. Yeah. But it was fine. And oh my gosh, she wants in bad. Well, are you gonna let her in? No, she's fine. Who is this? CU, CSU? Are these colleges? What is? Um, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I was, I was gonna try. Um, but we, I've been out. I've been out and about a lot. So it's been a month since we've uh, done a live feed. Since then, we've been to the West Coast with the Galveston. I didn't shoot anything in Galveston. That was truly. I was supposed to just relax, and we did. It was great. There was one day I didn't do anything. Mm -hmm. I I slept and just hung out. It was that was. Awesome. Yeah, it was yeah. absolutely awesome. Tyrone says he needs a shirt in his size, and I did get a request for tall tees, so we might have to change it up with shirt stuff um, and get bigger shirt sizes. But we're going to be releasing a few more new shirts. I, I'm a big camo guy. I like camo, so there might be different color camo shirts coming out. But, yeah. Um, all right. So, in regards to the topic of I'm getting a little burnt out, I, I don't know if it's just this time of the year. I am getting a little burnt out, but it's not RC that I'm getting burnt out on. It's just kind of adulting in general. Like just life is like, everything is like, it's so hot. Everything is like going up in price. Like it's just, I don't know. I, I'm getting a little burnt out where it's like, I just kind of want to just sit and relax. I'm, I don't, I guess I don't have as much drive, which is bad, but I still love RC and I'm doing a lot of racing like, rtr type racing so the msm drag list racing um it's exploded and when i say exploded it started we were trying to keep it to 12 people um first race was freaking awesome second race we had maybe 15 uh the last race we had almost 20 and it was like non-stop racing like people were trying to get in there um and it's only gonna grow it's just growing like crazy just like our msm moonlight crawlers which by the way melissa we probably need to schedule one soon oh yeah for sure and the weather's getting nice yeah it's getting nice but 
Er, nice er. The drag racing thing is freaking awesome, but it made me realize something. I'm doing a lot of drag racing. Mm -hmm. I'm doing a lot of oval racing. And although I've been successful in both, I think it's time to go back to what I uh what I'm what I'm really uh, my passion is. And I think I'm going to do more off-road off -road racing soon. I'm going to get back into it uh, really hardcore. Probably rebuild my cars and uh, just do it because I enjoy it. Mm -hmm. But it was it was a nice little kind of break from the off-road side and doing a lot of oval and drag racing. I'm not saying I won't do those anymore, but I I had the, you know, part of the reason why I haven't done a lot of off-road racing is because I haven't had the drive to do it. Um, and the other day I was driving home from a drag race like, man, I need to go drive my off-road car. So I think it's back, and I'm super excited about it. Um, let's see. Oh, man, that's a lot of stuff. Hey, do you want to do a quick giveaway? Mm -hmm. Sure, we can do a giveaway. We're halfway. Oh, okay. I'm going to let you do the giveaway. So here's my giveaway bag. What? No, I'm, actually, so I have stuff I'm giving away in this bag. And then I'm actually giving this bag away. This is going to, not this exact bag, but I love this bag. This is one of my favorite RC bags right now. And I'm going to give it away to one of the Patreons tonight. So we're going to do a wheel spin for the Patreon. So if you're a Patreon, huge shout out. Thank you so much for the support. I appreciate it so much. You guys have no idea. That's a pretty cool bag. Oh, the bag is awesome. And like whenever I give stuff away, even with RC Box Club, I think, what would I really want? Yeah. And uh, I'm... I'm really jonesing on this bag right now. Like I'm taking this weekend. So Patreons are going to get one. I'm going to, we're going to drop for one, but in here, I got more giveaway stuff. Let's give RC box, slow box away. Yeah, I'm trying to. All right. So Melissa's going to be mad. I built this box. This box is a, <laughs> this box. Is... Yeah. You probably wouldn't approve this box, but I'm going to show what's in this box that we're giving away. And, uh, I won't show what's in the next one or giving away, but I'll show what's in this one. This one has a whole bunch of good stuff. So, oh, did you see that? All right, so this box has the RC Box Club, the gold hashtag first hex drivers. Um, if you're in the RC Box Club and you've been in it from the beginning, you probably already have these. And then you'll have you'll get the matching nut drivers. So these are the hex drivers and the nut drivers. So you'll get the full metric set. And then also in here, this didn't go through. This is this did not this didn't get, go through approval. This did, this did not get approved, but we're giving it away anyways. And then I'm giving away the matching ball drivers, so you'll get the basically the full set. All two. Is there a tool stand in there too? Because that's all Actually, they're missing. There's one other thing that I really like in here. It's the Cal RC magnetic screw catcher mat. Now this one's extra awesome because it has the glossy finish. You can write your races on there, your setup stuff. It's magnetic to keep your screws, and it says RC box loop on top. Big shout out to Cal RC. You can save money if you use my coupon code over there. Hey, but, which by the way, any orders that have been placed with MSM this week have been getting the small magnetic RC box club. You're um, giving stuff away? Yeah. I, Excuse I, me? I have to approve the MSM stuff. You... <laughs> okay. Um, so yes, <laughs> this is the this is one of the boxes we're giving. We're giving away two boxes tonight. You What's the hashtag? Even, I don't even think it was approved that I got. What's two. the hashtag? Hashtag RC box club. So Comment hash, hashtag RC Box Club all lowercase in, in the comments to enter, and then we'll basically if you comment hashtag RC Box Club all will, together lowercase. Yep, you'll get you'll get entered in, and then we'll do a drawing for who wins. You have to be in the continental U.S. We're not shipping international, and because it is RC Box Club items, you know, I mean. If you've already got some of this stuff and, and you still want to enter, just make sure that you pay it forward. Yeah, seriously. So that's the other thing about RC Box Club is if you are part of RC Box Club, you might get some stuff that you already have, especially if you're an, an enthusiast already. What I really like you guys to do with that is find which one's better. Like, let's say you get a set of hex drivers. Is it better than your current hex drivers? If it is, keep those and mm -hmm. then give the next ones away. Yeah. And you have no idea how much that helps like someone at the track that might be using really scrappy tools or someone that just got into it that's using the little hand tools or whatever. Like, man, just give those to them. But give stuff away. Like, pay it forward. You have no idea how much those little things can spark the interest and, and build, like, a hardcore RC enthusiast. Yeah. So, yeah. So, you, I mean, obviously, if you're in RC Box Club, you can go for it. But if you do, try to uh, 
oh dang already 81 entries mm -hmm. uh, but yeah that's the first i gotta build the uh the wheel the wheel did you just get rid you just get rid i of did me? yeah i'm tired of being on and so i <laughs> raymond scott said i'm in michigan and there's no rc fun here man i think we have too much rc fun down here between the rc drag like the drag racing is so much fun like i i my god i'm looking forward to the next one it's two weeks away the crawling stuff, so much fun. Our oval stuff is insane out here. Like, God, the, the RC world in our area is just freaking awesome. What are you going to wait till we get to 100? We have yeah. 215 people. How do we only have 87 entries? It's weird. And I will say somebody asked if, uh, if they can enter multiple times, and you cannot. So the system is actually set up so it only takes one entry per person. Um, <laughs> Why did they say, why did Ron say bring a trailer? I don't know. I, I didn't see the contact. Oh. Maybe to the weekend. Hold on. Hold on. I got to go and get the list of. All right. So we're at 91. We're at 91 already? So you told him about no! the weekend. Sorry. You told him about the weekend. That's pretty exciting. I don't get to go. That's probably one of my favorite hobby shops ever. Oh, my God. Do you see what Lizette said? She said, what up, Mark? What up, Mark? I'm about to join RC Box Club. Yeah, you are. Nice. Yeah, it's a, it's it's good times. Come to the dark side. I'm just kidding. I have to, I'm <laughs> trying to build out the uh, the Patreon giveaway. Sorry, guys. One sec. Let's see you take over. I'm, I'm here. I'm, I'm doing it. Let's do it. All right, 99. One more. One more. 100. All right. Y'all ready? Let's see. You're into. I threw my phone over here. All right, I'm going to go ahead and draw now. So if you haven't entered, I'm about to draw. So just make sure you hit that hashtag RC Box Club in the comments uh -huh. section. Sorry, YouTube. Actually, I'm going to wait to get to 111. YouTube didn't. Okay, so look, I have this up here. Ron Inferred is. He's not top 10. He's in the top probably 20 of the oldest, uh, the longest running Patreons. Randy Scott is number one. Doug is number two. Robert Nitzel is number three. That's cool to see. Man, that's freaking awesome. I can't. Oh, there we go. Doing it. You're doing it. Um, let's see. Hopefully I can get all the people on this wheel. Oh, Vance Lawson. Congrats. That's awesome. Let me take a screenshot. So all you need to do is email to make um, it easier. What was the email address? I always forget. Why do I always forget? How am I supposed Mark, to do? What's the email address? Um, do uh, info at RC Box Club. Info at RC Box Club. All right. Club. So Vance email info at rcboxclub.com you'll just go into your account settings in your um youtube profile your youtube account just take a screenshot um where it says like your subscription so that it has that picture that we have of you that says vance lawson we'll um get your email or your physical address and then we'll ship that out tomorrow <laughs> congrats man that's an awesome box. The other box is just as good. Oh, Trizel. What's up, Trizel? I met him at Silver State, which we're already planning, which I'm really excited. I don't think they've released the dates yet, but. All right. I got it. I, we're, we're good. Hey, I'm, I'm all alone on here. That's fine. You, you got to I got to get you back in. Mm -hmm. There you go. All right. So, man, that's a freaking bank straight banger box. That he just won. Yeah, Jeez. that's cool. What? You, it's weird that you're talking. You're not. No, on they're it. fine. Everybody's fine. We're All right. fine. I need a <laughs> ones in the chat. If you want me to put Melissa back on the camera, is it? No, weird? no. Yes. If they if they vote that you be on, no. then you got to be on. <laughs> are yes. They, are the ones coming in? No, they're not. <laughs> Whatever. Are they coming in? Too? Oh, you RC crawler said I forgot I had to be a Patreon. So okay, like we said before, this was not for Patreon. We have a 
give away that specific for Patreon. So this was not for Patreon members. So um, whether you entered or not, um, yeah, you don't have to be a Patreon. Yeah, you don't have to be a Patreon for that one. Now this next, the next one I'm going to do, or not, maybe not the next one. We're giving away a whole bunch of stuff tonight, just like the last one. Mm-hmm. Um, but there's only one that's for Patreons, and it's the it's the Traxxas bag. So get it straight, boy. Yeah, we're not a <laughs> look. Everyone voted one. I told you. Yeah, Lewis. See, I like Lewis. Let Mel be happy. That's right. <laughs> like it. I like your style. All right. So should I show the car that we're giving away? We're 45 minutes now. I'll show the okay, car. We're giving yeah. Away. Wait, so, you're giving a car away? We're giving a car away. Okay. So um, this is the other box. I'm not going to show what's in this box. No. No. This will be a Can minute. you show me what's in the box? Actually, no, because I might change this one up a little bit. No, I can't show you what's in the box. So you want to prove it. Um, so we're going to give away another RC box to the box. And then this is the car we're giving away tonight. I told you David Sosa was going to be excited about this. We are giving away this Rustler 4x4. This is the brush version. This is the one that I used in the video to compare the brush versus brushless. Obviously, I have no use for the brush version because I have the new brushless version. And I have the, the VX3S one. So I'm going to be giving away that that Rustler 4x4. We'll give that away at the end of the show. And then we're about to do the Patreon the Patreon appreciation giveaway for the Traxxas bag. You're not going to get this exact one. I'm going to go buy a brand new one and send it out to you. But... It's gonna be like in in a bag that big. Yeah, not, <laughs> Just kidding, it won't be. It's not gonna be in a, <laughs> a bag that big. <laughs> so um, if you just joined, because I did see a few people say, "How do I enter?" Uh, we just did a giveaway. All you do is um, have to be present. Hit the hashtag that we are looking for, and we draw. Yep, so. it's a hashtag. Yeah, it? Van Slauson, you won. Was was Van La- Slauson the one that won? Yeah. Okay. Say that three times, please. I thought, man, I, I I thought <laughs> I thought you said Vance. Whenever you, because I was on another page. Um, another yeah, so quick email us, Van. Another quick reminder while we're on the topic of giveaways, I will never ask you for money for a giveaway. Those never. Are, those are scammers. Please it's, be vigilant and aware. There, there, are, there are scammers are... everywhere, even with merch. Like if it is not on the website, which hey, they've even like done copycat websites. Have you seen that? Yes, it's they're crazy. Hardcore. They're they're aggressive, you know? Yeah, so that is not... that is, I will never ask for money for a giveaway, ever. So don't do that. And if msmvlog.com and rcboxclub.com are oh. our domain, so there you go. I love that, Tyrone. That's awesome. See? Perfect. That's awesome. Like, that's growing the hobby. Yeah. That's, that's and getting sweet. them excited because it's like anything else. Like, when you have, like, a good outfit or good shoes or good tools. Like it makes you excited or a new body, whatever, like whatever. We're going to probably do a new set of tools. RC box. I think I'm going to do a new set in 2024 of RC box club tools. Mm -hmm. Um, Because I, I might have found like, I love the gold. Mm -hmm. I love the gold tips. I really like the gold nut drivers, but I found a mini flaw in one of them. Oh, and the flaw is the, they're so beefy on the nut drivers. If you have a really small, a small small wheel it's kind of hard to get in there to get the wheel nut out so we might be doing something different i think i want to redesign those Dang. <laughs> that's awesome nice i'm gonna be driving my trx for him this weekend slash four by four vxl love that car love it i think that's probably one of the most exciting as, as sad as it sounds it's probably one of the most exciting things that i saw on the new slash four by four brushless was the the clipless body for the slash mm. And I love how they did it where you don't, it's not like your ones with clips, the the body post holes, choose to put the clipless part on so you can use the old bodies, which is freaking awesome. I'm so excited to convert all my cars into the clipless bodies. No, Melissa doesn't run RC. Only crawlers. Oh, yeah, you do run crawlers. Mm-hmm. Um, So we got a few things, a few more things to talk about. Do, look, I, let me do the Patreon thing real quick. Yeah, do it. Whoa. Remove me. <laughs> Why do you like to move so much? People like you on there. And that's fine. Go get oh. sneak peeks. What's up, Mike? Who? Matt Long, have you? Oh, no. Hey, Mark, I'd love to collab, donate to you, and have you go to a random hobby shop and find a dad and mom and son and daughter 
10 daughter looking for their first RC and buy one and give them. I love that and make a video. Yeah, we we've, we've talked about that. Like, I've given a, I give a lot of stuff. Yeah. I think like a lot of stuff that I give away I don't record um because I feel like I, I don't want to I don't want to give off the perception that I'm doing it for content. Clout, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know what my favorite? My absolute favorite uh giveaway that we've done um was Charles who is a local driver. Um he has special needs and he is ruthless and oh he God. is aggressive and uh, he is an adult, uh, he but he awesome does though. race with the kids. And let me tell you, he has no mercy <laughs> and it has been so amazing to like kind of see him. Have you seen him at the track recently? Um, not in a while. Yeah. Oh, look at, look at that ad. A main popped up in my ad. That's pretty mm -hmm. funny. All right. So yeah, that's, that's freaking sweet. <laughs> I, and I do. I give a lot of stuff away. RC so. Mass Master, I think he just earned some extra brownie points. <laughs> really? Thanks. <laughs> the uh, the other thing I like to do is whenever I go to like some of the big races and there's a kid class, I'll bring an RC car up there and I'll give it to one of the kids as uh, like a just like you know think of a number one through ten. I mean, it really makes their day. And some of these kids don't have really nice RC cars, so when they get stuff like that, they it just blows them away. So. Yeah, so I do. This I do give a lot is, somewhere. And and it says right here, September Patreon. So this is for Patreon. This is for Patreon. They're already preloaded, so you don't have to worry about trying to do anything to get into this one. And unless you're a Patreon, your name is already in there. Um, and this so, is an yeah. appreciation giveaway. I don't want you guys to go join Patreon to try to get free stuff. Um, this is just the show appreciation of Patreons. Almost all my Patreons are like, we don't, we don't need it. We're here to support, which is freaking awesome, and I love it. Thank you so much. Um, but this is just a little appreciation to you guys. Um, that I really appreciate y'all's. First, Waco, Texas RC camper trailer race. Please look to attend. That sounds like fun. I'm in on that. Seriously, where? Blue yep. Goose. Blue Goose. I know. That's Robert. Robert. He's the one that did the taco. The taco yes. Okay. Show. I was like, I know the name. Yeah. I did I'm it for. Sorry, I had to drop off from being Patreon, but hopefully that. Um, opened up a spot for another person. We always have appreciated your support. Yeah, no, we met no, him no, in Oklahoma City, so um, you know you're here. That's enough support for for us for sure. So, and I do I I try to put as many teasers as I can in Patreon, like on stuff that's coming up. So, and I do respond to those. A lot of people ask how you get a hold of me. I that's, that's probably the, the best. That's way. the first place I respond yeah. when I do respond. Um, I, I mean, I still have a full-time job, so I still have, and I've been busy, so. All right, said five minutes spin? How many uh, seconds did One you minute do? spin. It's probably going to, oh, it's whatever that red one is. I don't, oh, it's probably going to be that white one. Jason, ah, Jason. nice. Grabaw? Uh, is that how you would say that? Jason is, uh, so I've known Jason for a while. Um, he used to race. He races, he used to race real cars. He went into RC racing. And then now I think he's back to, he doesn't race RC very much, but he still follows it. Uh, but he's actually local in my area. So, Jason, you just awesome. Congrats! <laughs> you just won a Rustler four x four. Thanks for the support, bud. Are you on? I didn't. I don't know. I, I you know what? I don't even think he has RC cars. I think he just follows right now. So that's Aww. so he's he's so really he's good building his like knowledge base until yeah, like he really, really dives gonna, in. Yeah, he's really gonna love that. So awesome, awesome Congrats, man! Jason. Thank you so much. Uh, hey, and RC Mass Master says I don't enter stuff. It costs too much for people to send me. If you're in Hawaii, I totally understand. But we still ship it. So. Don't hesitate. If you're outside of the U.S., unfortunately, we don't, you know, like... You know, it's just... It's, it's so... And expensive. there's, like, a lot of paperwork. I, like, look just to see what it would be to send a uh, RC Box Club. It's, like, 200 bucks. $200 to yeah, send to the U.K. Uh, that was insane. That's insane. So... One day we'll be able to get to it, so... Okay, we got fifty. We're already on for 54 minutes. There's, hey, there's, still, more, there's still more stuff I got to talk about. That was for the bag, right? That, that was for the bag. Yeah. Um, that was for Patreon for the bag. Yeah. So, so far, we've only given away one RC box in the box, and it was a straight banger box that I'm already getting evil looks, and the RC box club staff is probably pissed that I put it together. Oh, it's not that one. Did you guys just see what was in that one? You're good. But, yeah, that Patreon giveaway was for the bag. Yeah. But look at, look at that banger box. The entire set of gold hand tools and... The mat, dang, it's freaking awesome! So, that was the first box to give away. The second box is just as cool, just different stuff. Dang, what camera? Oh, you like did, me? you did confuse us because you said, You said, Oh, the rustler, and we thought you were giving the car away, but 
Oh no, the rustlers. He was saying that was coming up. That was coming yeah. up. Yeah. Yeah. Oh so, my goodness, she's at the door. She is. Um, more things that I got to talk about. Okay, so I just released that video, the most recent video. If you haven't checked it out yet, um, go check it out. If you're not a racer, you probably didn't watch it because it's, it looks like a racing video. But I also have. I did. I checked out a couple of my friend Randy Novak's cars that are custom built bandits. They're really cool. I'm probably gonna maybe rescope that video so you guys know that it's there. But go check that video out. But in that video, I tested out some R1 batteries by R1 Works, lipo batteries by R1 Works. Mm -hmm. Guys, those are like these. These. Oh shit! God damn! She scared the crap out of me. <laughs> Charlie, Jesus. Those are like the. No, she's gonna rip all the freaking mics down. Charlie, relax, girl. Just. Just sit and be good. No. Oh, God. I already see it moving. Yeah, it's... <sighs> Have y'all seen Mark's twin? <laughs> I love twin. it. He did one video where he did, like, a... She was, like, in the... in Like, beside him. And, like, she was, like, looking up at him. And he did a zoom in. Did anybody see that video? Oh, God. Oh, man, he loved that edit when he, like, zoomed in on her. It was so funny. Um, but going back to R1 batteries, yeah, sorry, because I want to forget my train of thought. Um, those R1 batteries are awesome, and I'm not just saying that. Literally, I reached out to him wanting them because I knew they were awesome. Um, and I see them in the on-road world all the time. And in on-road, it's very important that you have high-performing batteries. They're in the drag racing world. Now they make Mud Boss batteries. If you use code MSM, you actually save 10% on Mud Boss batteries. So if you run Mud Boss or you're interested in Mud Boss type batteries or any type <laughs> of spec battery, go check it out. R1 works. It's uh, r1works.com but w-u-r-k-s um, and then use MS M a coupon code MSM you save money I don't get paid for that I just want him to see that put it in the chat right, fine. put it in the chat that did it somebody said that oh shit came from the soul it really did she scared the crap out of me I heard her trying to get in but then she just busted through uh How's everybody doing? I mean, what, what's going on for the weekend? We already did this. You're oh, late to the show. I am late to the show. Yeah, but I did want to. Yeah, again, I wanted to get that out. Just earmuffs, John. Just in case you, uh, you guys want batteries. I like to try to save you guys money all the time. So usually, how these conversations work is they want me to promote some of their product. I promote their product, and I say, "Well, can I give a coupon code to my guys?" And ninety times, nine times out of ten, they give coupon codes, so it's awesome. Ryan BJ. Says, he goes, so unrelated question. Did you have BJ get hit get hit by a car on your weird stuff bingo card? Because that actually happened. BJ. Like an actual car? Jeez. <coughs> Grom says, can I Positive do energy stuff? to you. Seriously. <laughs> Ryan What'd said those, those batteries are legit. Uh, Grom says, can you do fist scale stuff? I have fist scale. I just don't do fist scale stuff. What is that? You have a car that's a fist scale, yeah, right? it's huge. We just got... Yeah, it's, it's sitting in the storage unit right now. Um... Ronford says, I need new batteries for my Revo 2.0. You think the R1 will be good? I mean, I'll, I'll shoot you straight if it's for a Revo 2.0. I think the just use the Traxxas batteries. That's what I would do. You don't have to change connectors or anything like that. Um, but the R1 batteries are going to be for if you're like a spec <laughs> racer. So in spec racing, if you guys don't know what spec racing is, you have to race a certain maybe turn motor, a certain electronic or some certain electronics. Basically, you're limited in what you can run. Um, so... The only way you can get an advantage is if you run like a really hot battery or really, really good battery. And that's what they do. They run these really, really hardcore batteries. And R1 is like, they're like the, uh, the the gold standard when it comes to spec batteries. So I was super stoked to pick some up from them <laughs> for my Mud Boss. Oh, nice. Ulysses? You, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Wait, I thought Ulysses had a Y, but okay. Hey, hey. <clears throat> different strokes, different folks. What would be a good starter car to start racing? I, oh, that's the, it. Yeah, I, I was gonna the best, best, and I have it in all my descriptions. The best starter car ever to me, just in general, not even just for racing, is this slash two wheel drive, um, because you can race with it, and then you can rescope it to do all different types of stuff. You can make it into a drag car. You can make it to a monster slash. Uh, you can make it into a speed car. You can do so much with the slash two wheel drive. And then the other great part about slash two wheel drive is if you decide you want to move up and you don't want it anymore, the aftermarket market for it, like the secondhand market for it, it, it has really good value. Like you're probably going to get back 80 to 90, I would say 80% of what you paid for it. So it's just an all-around good car. I always recommend that you go to Slash. Um, and 
for you Traxxas fanboy guys that are like, oh, he's just Traxxas fanboy. It's the most supported. Traxxas is the most supported card in my area for sure. And in most areas in the, in the United States. So I highly recommend you getting a Traxxas car and the Traxxas tool drive. That's the best starter car for me that I would recommend. Someone says Slash Ultimate. Slash Ultimate's not cheap. <laughs> that's, that's, not a, that's not a cheap starter car. It's an amazing starter car. Not a cheap starter car. It's probably... Actually, I think they're probably 500 bucks right now. They're not too bad. Um, okay, so we're already at an hour. Golly, we got to give more stuff away. Yeah. Um, but a couple things on like this show. Like, I really enjoy doing the show. I, I think I like I, oh, I, I like toyed around. Question. I toyed around with doing uh like making a podcast, but this really is kind of a podcast. Uh, we might change it up, maybe bring some guests on on the next show. Um, but I did have the on tone podcast on and mentioned that I should bring that back. Uh, I, Which, if y'all haven't watched it, especially the Dirty South, yeah, maybe, maybe, and maybe I will. But I, again, the the on the tone's still going, but it's the Dirty South. It's the guys mm-hmm. from the South, and they they do a really good show. They got really good chemistry. It, they're fun to watch. Uh, but the reason why I'm bringing up podcasts is there was another podcast, an Oval podcast <laughs> that they didn't call me out in Mud Boss, but they said that they want to they want to race against me and Mud Boss because they believe that Mud Boss is an East Coast thing and they see that I'm having a lot of success success down here with my Mud Boss. I love Mud Boss racing, but I forgot what the name of that podcast was and I'm sorry if you're watching, but I absolutely would love to battle out with some other podcasts and some other people in RC that's doing social media. That's why it was fun with like Loop is Live. Yeah. Wait, wait, was that was that the name of the Yeah, Loop is Live was the was Busted Bobby. Bo- yeah. I don't think you're allowed to call him Busted Bobby. Sorry, man. sorry. He's a good guy. It's all a Bobby's good like a brother. Yeah. Like he's really cool. Um, but what's funny is, yeah, so the, the story behind that is I had on the tone, which I say I was the first big RC podcast out there. And then Loop is Live was another podcast that popped up around the same time. They think they were the first one. But Bobby ran Loop is Live. I ran on tone. We were by far the biggest ones in the in the game at the time. And we would I thought I think we were bigger. But anyways, for the longest time, people thought there was a feud between me and Bobby because we were talking crap to each other. No, it was all in good fun. It was all in good fun. Me and Bobby were actually really good friends from the start. Um, And the very first time he he reached out to me, he was like, man, I think what you're doing is awesome. Uh, My name is Bobby. And he was like super cool. So it was funny (laughs) because people thought there was all this friction. But me and Bobby are actually really good friends and we're still good friends. I mean, we we all know drama brings the attention, you know. And that's kind of what Bloodline RC, that's what it was called. Mm. That was that was who called called me out. But they didn't call me out. They just said they want to race me, and I would love to to throw down on that. But yeah, and you were just on a guest podcast, um, the um, Cow RC one. one. Yeah. yeah, and someone says, "What about the wheel and trigger?" Oh, Art wheel and trigger. Did y'all know? For I a will... fact that that is the that's our partner in uh, yep. RC Box Club. And I'm I'm going to yeah. be on wheel and trigger soon, hopefully soon. Yeah, if I wasn't traveling so much right now. That was that was kind of like the hey, I can't go to your pro am race, but I'll come out and. But yeah, I, I want to do more podcasts. So if you know of any podcast um, that would love to have me on, I would love to be part of it. Because yeah. I want, I you know, I, not very many people ask me questions like to actually get to know me. Um, and I want to do those. And I, I love, you know, like the thing about podcasts. So like, although like I get it in RC, it's almost like a report of like a recap of everything. But when you do like podcasts in general and they kind of get to know you, yeah, you get to go off the cuff and like, you know talk about things that you normally don't but yep. i do like this question i'm gonna i want to talk about this real quick and then we will um do another giveaway but it says rc racing seems to be a male dominated yes how can the rc industry attract more girls tyrone said on the west coast there are more girls there's definitely a handful there's, of girls there's, a, there's girls that race yeah that um, are like on the pro level but i will say like it's just one of those that like it's well like, we no. got a we got a girl why don't you race rc Okay, but I'm a totally different. No, I, but see, I have ADD, ADHD. So like, when Mark goes, "Hey, film my car," and I'm like filming his car, and then he gets the thing, and he was like, "You weren't even, you weren't even recording my car." I'm like, I didn't even know. I didn't even realize. That's how quick I like lose the sight. And so, I for me, the easiest way that I felt like I've been able to do RC and have fun with it is crawling. Like I, that's my pace. But see, that's what I love. Somebody might like drag. I, somebody I'll, might like I'll say off this. road. Somebody like might like on road. Oh, drifting! I love drifting. Like, but I think it's just like 
the the hardest part is getting someone to find that interest because with boys like they love speed it's like it, it also so can we say that it's because they aren't as competitive no i don't no? think it's the competitiveness because there's so many there's an rc for everyone i just think that it's just i mean how many girls are like i'm looking for a hobby what about rc they just don't know it's out there like yeah and to be honest like even if I knew it was out there and I wasn't with you. I don't actually, I take that back because when I was younger, I did have an RC car from radio shack. So I, I did, I, did have some interest, but I love speed. And I, I mean, I think there's more, there's definitely more males, but I definitely don't think there's a lot of females in it too. Yeah. Like we have females that race all the time. Um, and by no means, by no means is the, are the males faster than the females. <laughs> I've already proved that. I'm like, I've been beaten by all different types of women. Even your son. <laughs> on social on social media out there. So, yeah. Um, but <clears throat> Jerry asked, how long was I? I like a- that question. Yeah. How long was I in APA? APA is a pool league. I was in APA for maybe four or five years. Which is what drove him to that's, come back. That's why I, that's why I left. Yeah. That's why I, I left. I, I left. I left playing pool because I was so competitive. When I lost, I've never seen when, Mark I, when so I lost, angry. I, I, in my head, I was so good at pool and I was ranked the highest skill levels you could be at uh, when I played APA. And he was so mad. He'd come home so angry. I've never seen Mark so mad in my life. Like we've been together 16 years. Like I've never seen him that mad. And he would come well, home like wanting to break his pole. Like I'm like, pull oh, stick. My- Don't say pole. It's oh, a pull stick. Pull stick. God dang it. <laughs> Anyways. I would so in my head, in my head, th- there was no way I could lose in pool. So when I lost in pool, I, I it was like I couldn't fathom. I just didn't sit well with You'd me. You'd run through the whole and I would all literally, night. I would literally let it like beat me down mm-hmm. to where I was angry. So I had to stop. When I got an RC, it's not as, obviously it's not as competitive. Uh, it is can be as competitive, but when I first got in, I was a hobbyist and I just like driving. And, uh, and learning all I about have a, it. I have Wait, a, I'm sure you've had some races where you're like, man, and you play the whole thing back, right? Like, oh yeah, I mean, there there races when I got pissed. Mm-hmm. Um, but then I realized it was when I when I first started getting pissed, and everyone that gets sponsored will will probably experience this. When you first get sponsored, you put a lot of pressure on yourself to win, and you start getting pissed at yourself mm-hmm. for not winning because in your head you're sponsored because you're fast. That is not necessarily completely true. You probably are fast, um, and that's how you typically get sponsored. However, really what they want you to be is they want you to be a good representative of the company. They want you to support the people in their area and those kind of things. They don't really care that you're winning. Mm-hmm. I know that's weird. Now, there are people that are – there are drivers for each team where they do care that they win. Like, they literally get paid, and they're on the team to win. I'm not a driver that they care to win. I'm on a driver because I have a strong influence – on you know helping people and driving people towards their brands um so that's why but that's whenever i first got sponsors whenever i would get really mad or not lose because in my head i was i was sponsored because they wanted me to win and uh there's some truth to that but it's i would say that's not that's not 100 percent the truth brandy says if it was baseball i'd be very competitive i'm with you mostly you have to find your niche and once you do it once you do it's awesome absolutely Hundred percent. So, and let's be honest, Brandy comes to the crawler crawling event. I, well, Brandy, for the fire and the <laughs> Brandy strikes me as extremely competitive because she played. Oh yeah, she played. I think she played softball in college. Um, I'm sure. I'm sure she's competitive. <laughs> but yes, yeah. I, so I, I played for that long, Jerry, and I still kind of want to play again. I would love to play with my son. That would be cool to get Evan in a league also. No, good, stop. He's teaching them to be sharks, and I kind of love it. You know, like Evan I don't cut him any slack. He I does just not destroy him every game. Yeah, <laughs> but I mean, I mean, they're getting better and better because of it. Because especially Evan, Evan's life goal is to beat Mark. Because our twenty-three-year-old daughter, when they were younger, she said one thing to to Evan, and she goes, "You're never going to beat Dad." He's beat. He can beat me at some things. Now he can, like Mario Kart. He beat me. He can be only at, only you, on like, 150 cc, and it's not consistent. <laughs> it only happens every once in a while. And he'll keep Evan up. Like we have to be up at 4:45 a.m. He will keep Evan up. Like I need to play you because Mark is like determined to yeah, beat him. Yeah, I mean, I still think I'm faster than him. Uh, someone, Trenton asked, "Do I get paid from Traxxas for reviews, or is it 
your payment to trucks. Actually, I have a video coming out soon to address that. Long story short is I don't get paid by taxes at all. Um, and I don't consider trucks or RC cars as payment because trucks and RC cars can't pay bills. Yeah. So, um, no, I don't. And uh, what you a lot of you guys probably don't realize is I turn down a whole crap ton of reviews. I have people reaching out. And Melissa, she actually manages that email account that takes in all the, the reviews and stuff. She sees it. People reach out to me all the time about asking me to do reviews on their products. I literally pick and choose what review, what products I want to review. Yeah. Because I, it's... I think at first I, you were I like, I got to do it. And then you were realizing that, like, you're not able to be honest. Like, and that's that's the biggest thing for you. It's like, you want to give honest reviews. Like, and I think it is funny because people are like, oh, you're a track simple. But I mean, it's hard to love cars that, like, do you well, you know? Yeah. Yep. And he's not sponsored. And we definitely don't get any affiliate marketing. We don't... We don't get paid by Traxxas. Like... No, I appreciate everything that Traxxas does. Yeah. They, I mean, right. they are very, very accommodating for me. If I need something, they'll always, they'll always hook it up. But you gotta, like, you gotta put it in perspective. Like Traxxas, whenever they release those videos, like their little, their videos, they're amazing videos. They put a crap ton of money in those videos. Yeah. Or and time. Or and it's not even or. And what they do is they, they will get me product, and I'll do a video, and I'll sometimes get more views in their videos that they just put. So to them, it makes a lot of sense because it's super cheap for them to, for me to make a video and get exposure. Um, but I, and I enjoy all the Traxxas cars, like, l like literally all the cars that I really like are <laughs> Traxxas cars and my techno cars. <clears throat> so, all right, let's get some more stuff away. I love what Tyrone said. He said that I'm sponsored as a great ambassador to the hobby. I bring two to three new drivers into the hobby each year. I race, but love hanging out with the RC fam. And that's what it's about. That is what it's, it's about. It's a family. Like, I mean, we all need it. We, you know, I mean, we need community. That's what they want. They want, yeah. um, they want ambassadors. Like yeah. the, the, even for us, like us building a team, the mm -hmm. RC, the MSM team, they're not the fast guys. They're the guys that they are can just, be, but they're, yeah, they're the guys that yeah. are representing. Yeah. We have some fast guys, but we don't, we basically, we don't choose them because they're fast. We choose them because of the presence they bring at the track. And what they stand for when it comes to how, why they do RC, um, but again, that's like there's two there's two different types of drivers, sponsored drivers. There's that type, which is what I'm in, and then there is a type that you have oh, to win, but they this. do it for I a living. Not heard of this? I am looking that up. All right, so let's give another thing away. Let's give another RC box clubs box away. Let's do it. I'm not going to show you guys what's in that that next Operation. one. It's going to be a true mystery, but. Man, I probably, I, I didn't even, sorry, I think Melissa wanted to give, I think I got, I think I got approval for one giveaway box tonight, and I'm giving away two. That's fine. Okay. Yeah. You'll pay for it later. <laughs> All right, so, <laughs> this, this hashtag is hashtag RCBC. Ooh, can I enter? No, I'm just kidding. Hashtag RCBC. <laughs> can I enter? I want to see what happens if I enter. <laughs> oh, shoot. Hold on. What if I won my own thing? That would be so funny. Obviously, I wouldn't take it. Okay. So. Hashtag, say it again, RCBC. Hashtag RCBC. I'm going to. So, someone said. Oh, 10 uh, already. Said, there we go. Matt said winning isn't everything. Think about why you originally got RC. I'll tell yeah. you my favorite, my favorite memories of RC. RC is this time right here going in October in the fall when it's cold. I have the garage open. I'm working in the garage, working on my favorite memory is working on like an old T Max that I picked up, used, and I'm rebuilding. And that feeling of getting an old beat up RC car started up for the first time <clears throat> and driving it for, you know, tanks on tanks of gas, like fuel. Man, it's, it's such a great feeling. Like that is my favorite memories of RC. And of course, like traveling and, and hanging out with my buddies at the pits, but. There's very few memories of me winning races where it's like that that was it. You know, I've won a few races and they're great. It's great that I've won a few. Um, but the memories that I really remember are those type of memories where I'm just hanging out and building. Yeah. Already 110. Geez, a lot of people on here now. Yeah. People all just 221. Jump. Let's get to 222. 222. Oh, you know what I should have done? I need to share this to Facebook next time, like this live feed. Yeah. And tell them they have to come to a the dark side youtube oh smash the like button where's my like yeah, button, how many Marshall? do we have let's see we should have at least 223 likes there's 223 people on and we need at least 223 more subscribers if you aren't subscribed there's no way it says there's there's only how many does it say we have we're about to take this giveaway down whoa 
Oh, there's 222. Awesome. There's 170 <laughs> likes. <laughs> really? Mm-hmm. Hashtag I'll RCBC. To... There's only 170? Come on, guys. What's going on? 122. ACDC. Bashing, bashing with my kids is always fun. My kids don't yeah. like Gavin RC anymore, though. It's like you don't like fishing as much. I, I love fishing now. <laughs> Oh man, I wish you would have got that on camera. Um, one day I want to. One day I'm going to make a video of all the times you roll your eyes. Every time I say something, you just roll your eyes. It's yeah. going to be a, a compilation of you rolling. Your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right, man. let's do it. One, two, three, let's go. Run it. Who's it going to be? This is for RC Box Little Box. Lance, Lance Kinsey. Kin Why do I feel like he's won before? Has he won before? Then, no. You're thinking of another name. <laughs> Congratulations, Lance. Yeah, awesome. awesome. You won RC Box Club Box. You know what, Moose? Are you taking these notes down on who wins what? Yeah, so again, Lance, you're here because obviously you commented. Make sure to email info, I-N-F-O, at rcboxclub.com. With the screenshot of your account, you just go into your this account settings goes... and take a screenshot. Just send it to us with your mailing address, and we will mail that yes, out. Yes, you tomorrow. have to prove that you are the owner of yeah. that channel. You can't email us and say, oh, I want to not be able to prove that you're the owner, the, the owner of that account. So this one I put on the inside. This one's Van. Van's the next one is Lance's. All right. We got one more giveaway. We're going to end this soon because uh, it's already an hour and 20 minutes. We always do this. I know, but it's so much fun. I say, oh, I have a hard stop. I mean, this ain't no meeting, so I really don't have hard stops, but... Melissa takes herself off, and then I put her... <laughs> on every oh, man, that is too funny. Um, Trenton said he sent me a message on Instagram. You don't check it. I don't check Instagram. No. Mm -mm. Not at all, sorry. I need to check Instagram. Fun, fun, fun fact about Instagram is the guy that... Uh, one of the owners of the hobby shop that I consider a friend now that I chat with every once in a while. Um, he's been messaging my Instagram forever <laughs> and I didn't even know. And it was funny. Cause like we went and Mark's like, wait, I think I got a message. Yeah, I think someone. I remember that. I guy. Think I, like, And then when he introduced us and he was like, Oh yeah, I sent you a message. And Mark's like, Oh, like, and then I go back and I'm like, Oh shit. That message was from weeks ago. But the hobby shop is just such a wholesome, genuine, like, I love that. Like, I really do. I'm I'm really bummed that I have to miss because of Evan. Evan Evan's cross country is so demanding. It's like seriously taking over. I never thought I'd be a morning person, and here I am. I'm up at 4:45 every morning. And Mark goes, I can help. No, I go to sleep too late. Yeah. Willis Wilson says, Congrats, my ugly mug was a picture of me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Willis, be kind to yourself. Oh, I love dude. I want to hear these. If Post years, he said, my father's memory was racing at the last Nitro On Road race at Steel City. Nitro On Road must have been so much fun. I was able to win the last race there in the GT8. The best thing about that race, about the race, was joking around with friends and eating tacos. God, that, see that that really is 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 the best. Actually, my mm -hmm. I have another fond memory of Southern Nationals when I was at Southern Nationals, and the hotel. The cool thing about Southern Nationals is the hotel is right across the street from the track. So you can you don't even have to get an RV or anything or a travel trailer. You can just go back and forth to your hotel room. But after the race, the racers took over the conference room. It was just all of us in there eating and drinking, and we were just having so much fun. Mm -hmm. And uh, that was the first time I met Joe Bornhorse. And Joe Bornhorse just got picked up by Techno, and it was cool. Like at that at that time, I was still kind of at that at that stage where I was a little starstruck whenever the pro drivers would come hang out with me. You know. Mm -hmm. Um, so there were a lot of pro drivers. I was such a cool time and it was late and we were just having a good time. And it was funny because I was like, why, why are these pro drivers up this late? But man, they were there to have a good time too. It's cool. Yeah. Huckleberry Racetrack. You go out there on YouTube. Please give us, man, <clears throat> let me know. He's in California, right? Is that where Trizel is? I don't know where Trizel is. Come on. You met him. You went out to LA. I thought he was at that race that you went to. That's another one. No. Yeah. No. You're talking about uh Golly, why do I keep forgetting people's names? 
Oh, Tramel. Tramel. There you're talking about Tramel. <laughs> Tramel, yeah. Wait, Trizel, where is this? Tr there, Tramel's my oh, boy. Long Beach. Okay. Not to say Trizel's not my boy. Trizel's been a supporter for a long time, too. Uh, but Tramel is uh, my boy from the West Coast. I pet, I pinned next to him at TNR, and I mean him pinned together at at uh, at Silver State. He's he's a cool, dude. He was mm -hmm. a he was a DJ for one of a, a super big recording artist that travels around with him. So he has really cool stories. But he's just, just a cool dude, and he just loves racing RC. Where's your track at, Meticulous? I hope my drift track has the vibes of the hobby shop. Apparently, there's some big name drift racers that are coming down to the hobby shop this weekend too. That's so the hobby, the hobby shop should have a lot of cool. Um, the hobby shop is actually the name of the hobby shop. Has have a lot of cool things going on this weekend. Go check it out, Saturday or Sunday. Sunday's going to be the swap. Mark meet. will be, be there Sunday there. for sure. I'll and be there I Saturday. Think it'll too. be Saturday. Yeah. yeah. I just don't know how long I'll be there Saturday. I'll probably I, I would like to spend a few hours there. Um, but I'm not at Austin very often. I think it'd be cool to check out some sneaker shops, things like that. Yeah, he'll have Ethan with him, so it'll be fun. And Ethan likes sneaker shops, so. Yeah. Um, wait, does Trizel, does that mean he knows Tramel? Why? What did he say? <laughs> he said he is, he is a great guy. Dude, well, he's in hold on, this, this question is funny. Do you, so you still have an old 1.5 Nitro wrestler? I still run. Oh, my God, seriously? The reason why I thought that was funny is because I have so many people that reach out to me and ask me if I have an old 1.5 engine. I guess it's hard to get them. Jeez. That engine, I've never tuned one of those things, but the, the carb is completely different. It rotates. It doesn't pull open. It's really cool. But I do have, I have an old 1.5 Rustler that I need rebuilt. I got, I got a whole bunch of project cars in the storage unit. I see to give away. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Um, Todd asked if I'm racing AMS. No. I want to race AMS, no. but you just, you, you see the marshal. She's saying no. Mm -mm. It's in November, right before her Thanksgiving. Excuse me. And I've never raced close, that race. I don't care. It's I've raced close. every gigantic no. race no. ever, except mm -hmm. for AMS. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't care. You go. But then it's one of those that you're like, okay, what, I got to take the RV, and then I got to go out the weekend before, and next thing you know, it's like 10 days. Like, it's not, I mean, I, I just, I, there's so much more other races. There's so many more other tracks. Like, I just feel like at this point, like, you, we can be selective of where we go. So, like, why not bring the attention to some of these other races in other areas that are probably a little bit? I don't want to offend anybody, but <laughs> it's in Alabama. That's all I'm saying. Uh, in the so, middle of so nowhere. Melissa's, Melissa's experience in Alabama is we went to so many races in Alabama, and we like when we travel, we like to see things. There's like nothing things. to see there's there. Not, there's not really much. No. Tyrone says Huckleberry is a very nice electric off road track. Man. California has so many tracks. I know. It's because <laughs> the weather is nice. Like when the weather can be, I mean, I, I know Northern California is different, obviously. And, and people can say in South Cal that it's hot, but it's nothing like what we experience here. I mean, I will say we went to um, the beach and it was like 70% humidity. Like that's hot. But at least there's a breeze here. It's about what? 40 to 60% humidity. It's hot. Like HRCR was cool because there's like we we could have spent more time there because there was more stuff that we could have seen. I even like uh, <laughs> psych, Psycho Nitro. I really like Psycho Nitro because uh, <clears throat> because I, I like Pigeon Forge is really nice. Um, what's that other Gatlinburg is really nice. But check, check, check. We done it. Like yeah. There's other things to experience, and that's why like HRCR like that was such a great rate. Right, I said it right. HR, HRCR, yeah. HRCR, like, it was cool. Like, we got to experience different location, meet different people. Like, yeah, I mean, like, Jimmy Maxwell, like, we had been, he's been yeah, a follower been for a follower years, forever. years. And he went quiet, radio silent for a little bit, but he was still active. Like, there was still, I mean, he's still supporting the hobby That's what out I want to go, go to places where I have supporters and just want to hang out with everybody. Mm -hmm. yeah. I want to know if there's a track in Colorado. I'm sure there is. There's definitely a, there's there has a, to be. There's an awesome track in Colorado. It's a ten scale track, and Doug is going to be mad that I don't remember what it's called. Doug, comment what it is. Uh, more. Mm. M -M is that Colorado -O -R. Springs? I think it's like near Denver. Okay, hey, uh, so we need to do one more giveaway. Oh, yeah, I need to take a quick, minutes. quick, quick break, real quick. So, um, can you fill the air? While yeah, I'll, I'll, fill, I'll fill the air, and. Uh, yeah, we're get, we still got to give the wrestler four by four away. Yeah, and then we'll have to. Here, I'm going to model it. Pretend like you're driving it. Make the noises. <laughs> 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 I 
I always ask Mark, like, do you envision like mm. the noises in your in your head when <laughs> every once in a while I'll drive next to people on the stand who make the brat 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 like they're racing uh motocross? That's pretty funny. Um, yes, when Melissa gets back, we give away the rest of four by four and we're done, man. We've been on for an hour and 20 minutes. I want to thank everyone who's done super chats. I greatly appreciate it. Um, at some point I would like to go full-time YouTube. Um, I don't know when that's going to be. So thank you. It helps me. It gives me more confidence to do it. If I decide to do it, sign the dang truck first. Uh, the person who wins it, if you want me to sign it, let me know. I'll sign it. I'll absolutely sign it. Actually, I can. You know what? I'm gonna sign it now. Should I sign it? One's in the chat. If you think I should sign this this car before I give it away, I can sign it right here. I got the silver sharpie. I can sign it right here on the hood. Says so sign it. Someone said she has got a great sense of humor. If you're talking about Melissa, Melissa has an amazing sense of humor. She's just got an amazing personality in general. All right, we're signing this thing. Uh, gotta clean it off. Boom! My signature MSM 2023. Look at that. It even matches. It even matches the paint scheme. That's freaking awesome. We're giving that away as soon as Melissa gets back, so you guys can be better. If you, uh, Know some people that aren't doing anything. Get them to log on and enter this next giveaway because it's an RC car. You got to be in the, um, the Continental 48, though. We're not shipping international. So, Randy Seaver says, love the live chats. Great to be able to talk almost face-to-face. -face. Yeah, absolutely, man. I think uh, I love live chats, too. I, I think they're a lot of fun. I need to do more wrenching sessions. So... Right on the windshield. Yeah, your driver inside the uh, Rustler 4x4 is not going to be able to see. But look at how good it matches. Like, it matches perfect. Look at that. This thing is is like new. Like, there's a little bit of scratching on the bottom. Because I did use this in a review. Um, however, like, the, the wing is... Usually the wing is the first thing that gets, like, completely destroyed. Um, it's not, not bad at all. Um, it This thing was so good that I even debated on keeping the body. But I didn't. So... Rustler Ford before brushed. It's a fun first car. When's the next Moonlight Crawler? You know, that's a good question. I was meaning to ask Melissa to set one of those up. But it should be soon. We've been doing a lot of drag racing. Drag racing is so much fun. Because we race with RTRs. <clears throat> Where's the Slash Body? I got the Slash Body. I still got it in the garage. Man, I have so many RC car bodies. I have like a gigantic pile here at my house. I have a gigantic pile... Um, in here of like brand new bodies and then I have like three or four gigantic piles in the storage unit um, you're racing oval tomorrow night thinking about trying the banding class banding class is amazing I am not racing oval I'll be in Austin for the hobby shop the the uh, swap meet and at the hobby shop do some drifting come on still waiting on Melissa to get back so we can do this giveaway um, DNC March 12th through 17th Silver State first weekend of May. I'm definitely going to go to Silver State. I'm trying to figure. I think I'm going to stay. So Silver State. If you ever go to Silver State, you want to go from Mon You want to go from Wednesday. You want to be there Wednesday. That's practice day. So you want to go from Tuesday to Monday. The last day is Sunday, and you don't want to miss the last day. So Tuesday through uh, Monday is when you want to go. I think I'm going to go from Sunday to Monday. So I'm going to go like eight days. The cool thing about Silver State is it's actually cheap to stay out there. The hotel's very affordable. And, um, oh, no. Really? Uh-huh. Is that why you, you left? Uh-huh. We got, all right, fine. I don't know if Mark's told y'all, but we had a baby. There he is! <laughs> Not that Look. guy. Look! That, that dude is annoying. No, he's just a baby. He bite. He's a biter. <laughs> Say hi, Milo. He's teething, so he likes to he likes to chew on stuff like your fingers and hands. And Melissa will throw him in, throw him in the bed while I'm sleeping in the morning, and he'll <laughs> literally gnaw on my toes. He's so cute, though, right, Milo? Oh, <laughs> okay. 
All right. We ready? Yeah. All right. So the uh, this is for look. Look what I did while you were gone. You'd be happy about this one. See. Nice. This is for the wrestler four by four. Um. This... So you're gonna comment. That's Milo. And you know what? You're gonna have. You better be subscribed. We are not giving this car away to someone who's not subscribed. So before you even comment, make sure you're subscribed. Oh, he's so sleepy. Seriously. He's sleepy. Um, I'm gonna check to see if you're subscribed. I can see who's subscribed. I'm gonna check to see if you're subscribed. Seriously, Ban Mike said the idea of a puppy is always better than the puppy. Yes, a hundred percent. Uh, a hundred and fifty percent. But he's so cute. Puppies are cool for about twenty minutes. I know the family was like all about him, all like wanting to help. About uh, no. like taking him out, the best dog feeding ever. him, and now they're like, no, like we want nothing to do with it. It's okay. The best dog ever is my gigantic pit. All right, last last thing of the evening. Thanks for joining, guys. It's been a great. Oh, we should do hashtag Milo. No. Yeah. No one searches hashtag Milo. No. Well, for the for the giveaway, we should do. I want to do a hashtag MSM blog because if they someone searches hashtag MSM blog this chat this, is that how it works if that should be how it works i don't know i don't know do you want to, no we're not doing hashtag milo he's perfect all right to enter comment <laughs> hashtag msm vlog what no s this is this is a tough one to enter it's hashtag msm vlog let me share no my screen s. vlog v not like the log. Not blog. Not B. B. Oh, this is a perfect time to do it. Our, our Let me share it. Or share what? Ah, Milo. Come up. Why did you bring Milo in here? Because he wanted to come Milo up. Milo was not allowed in he the wanted to RC, say hi. RC hideout. Y'all want to see him again? I know y'all do. No, I they do. can't see him because you freaking... Oh, you're off, add me. You're off camera. Add me. Oh my god. He's wait, he's just lick the camera. <laughs> he's so cute. Already 102 entries. This is for the wrestler 4x4 four four brushed. It is not brushless. I just got a message. Asked me if I entered my own giveaway. Yes, I entered my own giveaway. Why? Because I'm I had to you. <laughs> you can't delete me. If I win, we're just gonna spin again. Make sure to include hashtag MSM vlog. I did see who was it? Um Huff Dog. Sure. Enter, 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 enter. Just take the brushes out. Yeah, I don't think that's how it works. <laughs> Let's see. If I got this in, what I would do <clears throat> is I would. The drive shafts actually oh, aren't bad. Geez, the first thing I would, I would do the uh, the heavy duty kit on this thing, and then I would definitely put VXL in here, and then TSM because it's so much easier to drive with TSM. And then I would like the center chassis brace, maybe the techno drive shafts. There's so much I would do to this. And it's clean. Already 127. It's weird that there are 207 people on and only 127 have right. entered. Right. Only because that means that 208 people are actually on watching. Right. See? He's ru he's ruining the show. No, not Milo. No. Get out of here. <laughs> I'm just joking. My favorite dog is our big old fat pit bull. Oh, Sorry. somebody said RP arm RPM arms. RPM ours would be good. Um, All right, what are we gonna get to? One thirty, one thirty-three. Let's go. Let's just go one fifty. What? Oh man, y'all better start. Yeah, y'all better hurry up and do this. Oh, that's why. That's the good point. Someone said the reason why there's probably only one hundred twenty-seven is because the other ones are international, or they're not logged in under Facebook. They could be watching. I mean, oh, that could that could also be it. So don't go to. Let's do. Let's meet in the middle at one hundred forty. Whoa. Overseas viewer can enter? No. You can enter, but if you win, you can't. We won't do yeah. it to you. I really wish we could. I just hate how, I mean. I Especially know. our C cars would be a big pain in the butt to send overseas. 131. One, nine more. Nine more. And then or not can, a subscriber. And but then we can go to sleep. My, Milo, it's time, right? Oh, yeah. Some may be watching on their TV. That's true. I do get people sending me pictures of. I love that. TV. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody, who was it? They were oh, like, look, Brandy, Brandy entered. I know. I I already know that uh, Diesel's been wanting this car. Aw. 
So hopefully, maybe they win. Hopefully they win. That'd be cool. We want a Milo cam. Someone wants a Milo cam. Yeah, Milo's so perfect, guys. Look at him. Back him up so just a little perfect. bit so they can see a better look. Get his whole body in there. Oh, his butt is on me. Ew, gross. Milo, put the tail down. <laughs> so cute. So cute, so cute, so cute. Oh, wait. We're getting a full, a full screen Milo. Oh, no. We can't do full screen Milo. Dang it. Is it because I'm sharing? Yeah. Hey, excuse me. You want to be on camera? Yeah, we need a Charlie cam. I'll put Charlie in my lap. Where's Charlie at? Is she in here? Mm -mm, she's eating. That was the another surprise. Time. Yeah, I had to feed her. <laughs> oh, if I put Charlie, well, I'll put Charlie in my lap. She's huge. It's like holding a dog like this. You won't even see me. He tries. It's so funny. My look. Okay. All right. Do you want to stop it? Or we'll... oh, we're, we're almost four there. more. We're four more. We're almost there. This is for the wrestler four. Who doesn't want a wrestler four by four? It's an awesome one to have in your collection. Hey, whoa. Excuse me, guy. You don't know where you're going. And then I'm doing a lot of uh, storage unit cleaning, so I got more stuff to give away. It's going to mm -hmm. be fun. We need Charlie. I know we need Charlie. That sucks. Charlie's eating. She's doing what she does best. Oh, thanks. He just gave me a kiss. That was so sweet. Hey, stop. You're creeping everybody out. No. <laughs> I'm okay with that. 137. Come on, we only need three more people entering. Get someone to log in and, and hashtag it. 138. There. 138. Do I have any good Revo? Oh my God, I've got so much Revo 33s. <laughs> um, 139. Okay, we're about we're to do it. There. We're almost there. We're about to do it. Is Van allowed to win again? No. No, you're gonna you're gonna disqualify him like that because it's a book. I mean, he's already got the box. It's the same thing. I'm drawing it. All right. Oh, we hit we hit it and we we stopped. It, it would be the kind thing to do to allow somebody else to win because you're kind of already winning some of the things from RC Box Club. So, oh, Mac X three Mac X three is right. the winner. Congratulations, you won a Russell four by four. You have to send an email to info at rcboxclub.com. Is that cool? Yep. Info at rcboxclub.com, and you have to prove, you do a screenshot, you have to prove that you are the owner of that account, and we will get you the Russell Four by Four out. Another quick, <laughs> another quick, look at his ear, fix his ear, his ear's all bent back. No, oh, sorry, Milo. There you go. Look, say hi. Oh, my God. Why didn't nobody warn us about white dogs, though? Um. So cute, so cute. What, what was I going to say? I don't know. Oh, yeah. Just another quick reminder before we leave. Scammers are out. I will never ask for money for a giveaway. Yeah, money. seriously, guys. Don't, don't fall don't, for it. Don't, you don't know, give anybody I remember money. one time, like, there was a shirt. Like, that's why we're so particular in the Facebook group. But somebody was in there selling freaking MSM shirts. Yeah, I saw someone with an MSM shirt in at a race. And I was like, I don't make that shirt. Yeah. And they bought it off of, a, off of Facebook. Yeah. Kind of messed up. Anyways, all right, guys. Well, thank you so this much. This is so for much fun. Yeah. I, I mean, I'm bummed that I kind of came in late, but I'm glad because I, I still was able to join for a pretty good time, and y'all got to meet our new baby. <laughs> baby, the baby. The dog is a Bichon. Yeah, Bichon. So, all right, thanks, guys. Thanks. It's I, been we'll, great. We'll see you in hopefully in a month, maybe less than a month. So. Yeah, for sure. Drive I mean, RC, our goal have is fun. to do it one once a month, right? So, go follow me on Facebook if you want to know about all the events we go to. Snap it. All right, guys. Later. Okay, bye, guys and gals.